Testing one, two, testing one, two. All right, we're live. Hi, guys. Welcome back to VR Essentials, where we talk about the practical uses of virtual reality. If you're new here to the channel, I'd like to welcome you. Hi to you. And a big welcome back, of course, to all our regular viewers and awesome subscribers, because it's always thanks to you that I want to continuously upload new videos to the channel. Now, today we're talking about Hmm, Valve's Index, they're very busy behind the scenes with some new patents that they've been submitting. We're all very excited, of course, because potentially they could really disrupt the industry as we're all anticipating a release of a wireless headset. Will it be a wireless standalone or will it be a wireless streaming to PC headset? All those details, we're not quite sure, but we're going to go through all those various different patents. So let's just transition over to the other screen. And by the way, before we talk about all that stuff, I just want to mention very quickly that starting in September, we are going to be releasing a brand new show which will enable everybody to basically be able to find out all the behind the scenes of what's going on in VR. We're interviewing a whole bunch of different developers, including the guys at O-Shape who also did Chess Club, I'd love to try uh, Chess Club, to be honest with you. The guys also who have developed Carly and the Ripper Man. The guys who've developed Synth The Riders, as well as the people who have developed the Walkabout Mini Golf. The guys at Your 2 VR, yeah, it was a really cool interview that we just did literally yesterday. Uh, the guys at Pixel Ripped, uh, who have also developed Yuki and launched it on Steam very very recently so do go and check it out as well as the developer who worked for the Jean-Michel Jean concert that was released in VR chat and a whole bunch of other guys so guys I'm extremely oh I can't find my mouse it seems to stop all right there we go uh, we are live of course this is a non-edited video so guys, very excited about what's coming into September. Do make sure you hit the like and subscribe and enable that bell notification next to the subscribe button so YouTube tells you in your video feed when we upload that video and you don't get to miss those really cool interviews. All right, back to today's news, which is all about Valve, of course. Now, Valve, just in case you're not um, familiar with who they are now, Valve Index released a headset a few years back, which is basically, I would say, one of the world's most popular VR headsets. The only VR headset that really kind of, I wouldn't even say it dethroned it because it still rivals it, is the HP Reverb G2, who have worked, of course, with Valve uh, to develop certain parts of the actual technology to the VR headset. And it really, really, you know, changed VR, PC VR totally. It really brought another dimension to PC VR. A lot of companies, including Ferrari, Lamborghini, and a whole bunch of other multinational companies use the Valve Index because it's really that good. So basically, they've sold a total. Now, by the way, they sold more, around 200,000 units, I would say. Apparently, when they first released in 2019, they sold 59,000. But then when they released Half-Life Alex, which is basically the world's most anticipated VR game that came out uh, really pulverizing and creating brand new standards for the industry in terms of graphics and textures, gameplay, storyline, and all these kind of things, it basically spurred more than 100,000 people, according to Wikipedia, to purchase the Valve Index, which is pretty Pretty amazing that actually a game could create that kind of traction in terms of sales uh, for a VR headset. So that's really, really amazing. So basically, I saw a tweet from my friend Skiva. Hi, Skiva, uh, who is from Between Realities. Just in case you didn't know, Between Realities is a very cool channel. Please go and subscribe to it and mention you say hi from VR Essentials in their comments if you can. They have interviewed and interview everybody in the who's who of the VR industry from Natey to Steve Knows to JT, Gamertag. I mean, absolutely everybody. I mean, there, there are so many different names. Just go and check them out because they're all amazing. Uh, over there and there's a lot of insights to learn about the industry so do go and check them out all right so basically there is a tweet that he retweeted from this dude uh, called brad lynch and basically these are the various different patents uh, that basically have been released or uh, approved by valve 
recently. So let's go through them. Let's see exactly what they're working on because I think some of the things are really, really exciting. Uh, let me transition over again. So correction, polarization, compensation, optic for display system. The present disclosure related generally to techniques for improving the performance and efficiency of display settings such as laser scan beam display settings or other types of display settings. Mm. All right, so they're working on some display settings. Camera device employing spatially varying polarizers. All right, what the hell is that? Systems and methods of the present disclosure provide a compact camera device that utilizes one or more spatially varying polarizers such as one or more multi-twist retarders to provide compact and then something. All right, sounds very mysterious. Position tracking system for head mounting display systems. Now, I'm very systems, very excited about this. Systems and methods for tracking the position of a head mounted display systems component. The HMD component may carry a plurality plurality, sorry, of angle sensitive detectors that are able to detect, of course, the head. So this probably means a system that doesn't use base stations. This sounds to me like built-in tracking system. So that's going to be very interesting. Micro lens array polarization, recycling optic for illumination optics, system and methods for providing a polarization recycling structure for use in applications such as display systems that include a liquid crystal display assembly. Wow, that sounds very interesting as well. Variable optical correction using spatially varying polarizers. So a lot of polarizing technology here. An optical system is provided that includes a correction portion, including one or more spatially varying polarizers. A first spatially varying polarizer of the one or more spatially varying something. All right, because we don't have the entire Thing. There's no link to actually go and check out. Maybe if I find it very quickly, let me just check. Uh, valve latest patents. Four hours ago, valve index. Uh, this was, uh, so this is one of the patents that was in March. So one of the patents that basically was released by Valve shows that this is the wireless standalone VR headset that we are all anticipating. So these patents here are brand new. They only came out about four hours ago. So this basically goes in line with this. So let me just carry on very quickly. Viewing field-based optical correction using spatially varying polarizers. So again, a lot of polarizers here. Spatially and time varying polarization correction optic for scan beam systems. So it sounds to me like they're working a lot on the tracking and also working a lot on what you see inside of the headset and how the headset is basically translating all this information. Uh, polarizing multiplex optics for head mounting display systems. So again, this is something else to do with the optics. Polarizing composition for wire grid polarizer of head mounted display system. Hmm. Polarizing beige multiplexing of diffracting elements for illumination optics. And finally, polarimetry camera for high fidelity surface char characterization measurements. Systems and methods for providing a poly polarimetry camera operative to obtain high fidelity surface characterization characterization character oh my god characterization measurements right so basically the gist is that at the moment they are working on or getting some patents about the actual optics of what's going on inside of the actual headset and also the tracking system. So this is very, very interesting. We're getting closer to getting a little bit more clues here and there about what's happening with the valve index. Would it be called valve index? By the way, we don't know. No idea what it will be called, right? But very interesting that we're getting a little bit more clues here. All right, guys, so you got it first here on the VR Essentials YouTube channel. Let's go to the comments and say thank you to you and read some of the comments and also welcome some of the new subscribers to the VR Essentials community. All right, so let's go to the YouTube channel. We're going to go to our YouTube studio. And then we're going to go to recent subscribers, see all, and then by date. So let's welcome Akpan Jennings, Nathan Lewis, Chris Costas, Jeffrey Benson, Aristoria, Nick, 
Paul McLaren, Thiago Maracini, Odrej Svoboda, uh, Sorab Kalbal, and Kevin McLean. Guys, thank you so much for joining the VR Essentials YouTube community. You guys are super awesome. You're now part of almost 10,000 people. So do leave your comments in you know, any of the videos so that hopefully people can actually comment back and help you if you have any questions, of course. So and please share the video so we can increase even more subscribers to come to and, 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 and grow the community because there's so much more coming. <sighs> Boy, I can't even explain what's going to be happening to this YouTube channel by the time we reach 20,000, 30,000, 40,000, 50,000. It's just going to, there's so much planned that I can't talk about and can't release because we're not there yet. But there's a lot coming. All right, let's go and uh, read some of the comments on the channel as well. Uh, so let's just go to the your YouTube channel. Let's go to the previous video. So in the previous video, we, saw, we, we, spoken, we spoke about the exciting Steam Deck update uh, as Valve plans to launch compatible standalone wireless PC VR headset for it. Uh, Jeremy, thank you very much for your comment. Steam Deck is not max 60 hertz. That's the screen. Okay, so uh, there's, two, there's a few comments that came out about the 60 hertz stuff. Now, I just want to clarify that for the 60 hertz of the actual Steam Deck, you cannot make it go past 60 hertz on the Steam Deck when it's undocked. You cannot, it's not possible. Everyone has said this, even the uh, Wikipedia page of the Steam Deck says it. So let me read you um, what actually Wikipedia said. Uh, by the way, there's always timestamps in the uh, videos. So please note about the refresh rate of the Steam Deck. A dock unit will be released for the deck available available separately. The dock unit can be connected to an external power source to power the deck and to an external monitor via either HDMI or DisplayPort protocols to route output from the deck to that monitor. Through limited by the processor speed, sorry, though, though limited by the processor speed, the display output from the deck via the dock can reach as high as 8K resolution at 60 Hz or 4K resolution at 120 Hz. There are no other changes in performance of the Steam Deck, whether docked or when used in portable mode. The dock will also support Ethernet networked connectivity and support for USB connection for controllers or other input devices. The deck can also work with any third-party docking stations that support similar type of interfacing for portable devices. However, when docked, it cannot go at more than 60 hertz. So do note this because this is something that perhaps there was some confusion there. Um, you know, so I just wanted to clarify things in terms of, uh, you know, in terms of what, what was happening there. I do want to say a quick uh, thank you to the video that we spoke about for Microsoft Flight Simulator's latest update. I want to thank uh, Ryan Malin, also Andy Skywalker, Brett, a camera traveler, Falcon LX911, Martin Schmark, and Andre uh, Gabrielson. Uh, thank you so much for leaving your comments, guys. Really, really appreciate it. You guys are super awesome. So thank you very much. Until next time, guys, I'll see you. I'll see you in another video coming very soon. Hit the like, subscribe, and notification bell so YouTube tells you in the video feed when we upload that cool new video very soon. Bye for now.